after the skull is your first region where the cervical vertebrae will be. Okay, cervical. Just think of like right up here. All right. Next is going to be thoracic. Think of thoracic like breathing. Okay, like a thoracic vertebra um, surgeon. Okay, right here where the chest would be. All right. Towards the end of your ribs, you're going to switch from thoracic vertebrae. All right, to lumbars. Okay, lumbar like back. Okay. Then from your lumbar, you're moving down, and you can't really see it right here because your what bone is this? No, that's really not the right answer. No, look at the board. What's the real name for it? This bone right here. The ilium. The ilium is the specific name of this bone. The ilium, the ischia, and the pubis all compose what? The innominate bone. Okay, it's only the pelvis if it's two of them together, okay? It is half of the pelvic girdle, the innominate bone. This is one innominate bone. I don't have an innominate bone. Okay, that's an innominate bone. Half the pelvic girdle, whatever. So, behind that, though, we're continuing with the spine, is three fused sacral vertebrae, okay? So you have three fused sacral vertebrae into what's called the sacrum. Okay, and then all these little ones at the tail that are all spawny looking are caudal vertebrae. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five regions of the spine. Okay, that's what the first.